Hey YouTube, welcome to day seven of my 14 day challenge. I am halfway there. I am halfway there. You guys, I'm really, really passionate about helping people understand why they aren't having the success that they're having. I just wish more people would spend time when they're trying to come up with a business idea or an income idea. I wish more people would spend time on the chart that you see in front of me. This is a chart that I found on catleblanc.com. Kat LeBlanc is an online business coach, a business strategist. So she's a good person to go to if you need some help coming up with a business idea. And see, a lot of people come to me for that type of stuff. And I don't really think that's my talent. The reason why I've had success with several things online is I tend to find opportunities that align with what I do best and what I like to do. And see, I feel a lot of people don't do that. They chase the opportunity instead of finding things that align with either their lifestyle, their skill set, their talents and all that. And I think if more people focused on this chart, we'd have a lot less failure and we'd have a lot more successful businesses. Or at least if you're just wanting to do like a, a part-time thing, just make money with Amazon Kindle or make money with Merch by Amazon. Now, now, obviously there's a lot of reasons people don't succeed. There's fear, maybe they have a poor work ethic, maybe they don't have drive, they don't have the time. So for the sake of this video, let's assume none of that matters and all of that is taken care of. You have the time, you don't have the fear, you do have a good you know, work ethic. So for the sake of this video, that's all in place. Let's just focus on this graph. And I love this graph because it really does, in my opinion, when I look at it and I think about the success that I've had online, this makes total sense. And when I think about people who aren't having success, a lot of times this makes total sense. So if you look at this chart, there are three light bulbs, likes and passions, natural skills and talent, and paying client. So you can also uh, replace paying client with the income opportunity, like merch by Amazon or selling uh, with an e-commerce site or something like that. So let's just use my business, for example. One of my friends told me the other day, she said, it seems like everything you do online ends up succeeding. And first of all, that's not true. <laughs> that's not true at all. But sometimes people, when they're having success with a couple of things, they make it look easy just because they're finding things that align with what they do best. Almost everything that I've done online that I've had success with evolves around teaching. I always take the teaching side to what I'm doing because I have a passion for it. You all have told me that I have a natural ability to break things down and make them easier to understand. So since I've got those first two light bulbs on top covered, really it's just about finding the opportunity online. And when you love to teach, the online world is a perfect place because you can teach on YouTube, you can sell online courses and all that. And so I just tend to find things that work and fit me. A lot of you all aren't finding opportunities that fit what you really, really should be doing. Let's take MLM, for example. This is why, and I think this chart illustrates why MLM does not work for a lot of people. I don't have a problem with the overall MLM concept. I have a problem with how it's marketed. See, to be successful with MLM, in most cases, you have to be very good at marketing and you also have to enjoy it. And so with MLM, this is an example here where none of the light bulbs are typically turned on for a lot of people. So you might get wild by the lifestyle, the money, and all the things that you can do with your life if you start making a lot of money, but you don't really have the passion to do the work that you have to do, which is marketing, to make the money you wanna make. So you need to enjoy marketing and you also have to develop a skill on how to market in order to get that orange light bulb on, those paying clients. And see, that's why so many people I think with MLM end up giving up because none of those really fit them. Let's talk about Merch by Amazon. I don't necessarily think I had the green light turned on when I first started with Merch by Amazon. Sure, I like working in Photoshop, but I didn't have a real passion for selling shirts. So I don't necessarily think you have to have the passion for the business up front, but I still think there has to be something that you like about the process to keep you patient while you're learning how to make money. So even though I didn't have a passion for selling t-shirts, I've always loved software. I've always loved computers. And I was patient enough to learn Photoshop so I 
I can improve my skills in Photoshop and then make more money with Merch by Amazon. The other skill I had to learn was keyword research. A lot of designers for Merch by Amazon, they have the passion for the design, they have the talent and the skills to do design, but they don't learn how to make designs for the audience. So they're missing the orange light bulb. There's no client for the shirts that they're designing. And so to be successful, you gotta figure out where you're lacking. And if you look closely at this chart, what I really like about it is if it shows you if you only turn on two light bulbs, for example, if you find something that you really like and you have a skill, but there's no client for it, then you'll end up having fun, but no income. An example of that is let's just say you make this really, really weird looking art. It's maybe it's very dark and scary, right? But you have a talent, you have a passion for it, right? So you've got those first two light bulbs on, but you can't figure out who would buy it. Where would you sell it? And so you have trouble finding the paying client. So to have a successful income opportunity or business, you have to figure out how to turn on all three light bulbs. Let's talk about selling in the Kindle store. You might really, really love to write. Let's just say you're a fabulous writer and you're very talented. So right away, it might look like you have all three light bulbs on. You're passionate about writing. You have the natural skill, you have the talent, and you have the client. They're on Amazon. Let's say you already have verified that people buy books in this genre that you're gonna write for. So it looks like you've got all three, so why aren't you having success? But have you figured out how to work the Amazon marketplace? Do you understand search engine optimization? Do you understand what it takes to succeed on the Kindle marketplace? Do you have the marketing part down? So sometimes you might think you have all three bulbs on, but there's something else that you have to learn. And so I thought this chart was just, fabulous because I think it illustrates why people have success and why they don't. And like I said, there are always going to be external factors for why people succeed and fail, right? There's luck and f some people discover that they're just not good with online business. It's just not for them. But I think if you at least start here rather than starting with chasing these different income opportunities, like for example, some of you all don't have any lights on. <laughs> I know that sounds kind of crazy, but it, it, it's a good analogy. Your lights are off. You're looking for somebody else to give you an income opportunity. I have people email me all the time. I just lost my job, Lisa, and I'm just wondering what I should be doing. Now I can tell you what I'm doing, but that doesn't necessarily mean it's a fit for you. And so I wish more people would spend time on doing this and I think it would lend them to a better opportunity. It doesn't guarantee success, but at least it puts you on the right path. So what do you guys think? Do you think this fits with you or do you think this is just a bunch of baloney? <laughs> Let me know what you guys think.